Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. So this is a timeless reading for all signs. Whenever you hear the message is when you're meant to receive it. Signs and gender are mentioned, but please keep in mind energy is full. So he could be a she, she could be a he. The roles could be reversed. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's see. Ooh, we have here new beginnings at the bottom of the deck. New beginnings and healing. Wow. And love. Okay. So you have a new beginning. Um, love, this could be, of course, love coming into your life, but this could also be a lot of just love for yourself, self-love, healing. There's a new beginning. You are about to have well-being and fertility. Ooh, and home. Some of you, let's see. We are um about to be in cancer season soon. Cancer season to me always brings about an energy of focusing on the home and the mother. Um, it's a very maternal, creative like energy. Um, some of you right now, I feel like you could be experiencing sort of like spiritual nesting. Um, you may be thinking right now more about or you need to pay closer attention like to your overall health, your just your overall well-being here. Make sure that you're loving yourself, loving those who love you, um, avoiding a lot of just low vibrational negative energy. Some of you, you could be very fertile right now. Um, it could be time for you to birth some kind of new beginning. This could be just a new venture, a creative project, a home project, something with your job, your work, career, finances. For some, it could be a child. But I feel like your spiritual well-being and health is something that you need to be paying close attention to. You may be feeling right now like, um, like you're longing to go home. Some of you may even want to return to a place that you consider home. If you've moved away, you may be considering going home. I'm getting a very specific download for someone right now. Some of you feel like you need to return to a place um, that was once familiar to you because it feels like someone here, like you want to close out a cycle that is still open. Um, so you could be wanting to visit like your hometown, your old, I'm hearing stumping grounds. Okay. I don't know. There's something very specific for someone. Some of you, you could actually be choosing to go back to a place and having a new beginning there. You could be moving back home like near family, someone could be moving back near family because maybe you have children and you need help with children or you are expecting a child. So you and your significant other could be choosing to move closer to family or you could be purchasing like your first home or a new space right now. It's just like nesting here. Like someone is nesting. Um, you could be preparing yourself for a serious relationship, for parenthood. Or like I said, or just some type of new business or whatever this is. Overall, it seems very, very positive, very um, optimistic. Yeah, the three of cups is here. So this is like your soul family, a community, friends, family, community. Let's see. I'm saying I just saw the eight of wands in the reverse. Wow. So somebody here could for sure be like expecting. Look at that. You have here the fertility card with that Empress card. And here's the nine of wands. That's literally, that's like nine months. So some of you right now, you could be expecting um, or you're about to conceive. Okay. And again, I know everyone is not interested in having children or may not be of childbearing age or whatever the case may be. Just keep in mind, this could be the birth of anything. Let's see. If it's not a baby for you, it could be a business, you know? The high priestess and the hangman. Yeah, definitely something here. Some You're giving birth to something spiritual. And it's something very exciting for you. Wow, the high priestess and the hangman. Very, very strong Pisces energy. The page of wands here. 
you're about to receive like some kind of exciting news. You could be feeling again, like I said, like like something is being slowed down, or right now it's like spirit is trying to encourage you to slow down. It's like you need to take a moment right now to heal. Um, and again, it's like I just feel like what I'm getting from you for right now, this is a very strong, just intuitive message, is spirit is calling for a lot of people in the collective right now to really, really close out some of these karmic cycles and chapters of your life. Some of you, you may be feeling like you need some type of closure and maybe there are some people, places, things, or situations that you need to confront. That's the reason why I'm getting this energy where you may be feeling like you need to return home or you need to make a phone call to an old friend, an old, you know, a family member, an old partner, and like have your, your final words because your life is about to completely change or this is just you needing to like really really accept something it feels like someone here has been in a state of of grief or mourning or some kind of oppression or depression you've been experiencing like this stagnant energy for some time but you have love and a new beginning coming some of you right now you have no idea but you're literally about to be like in a new relationship a new job new business you could be having a child here moving to a different place but it's so important the first part that came out is well new beginnings and healing there's your heart is healing from something and i feel like the more you heal from things from your past the more enlightenment the more spiritual wisdom and guidance you're going to receive and it's going to allow you to take a leap of faith to do something new, something passionate and exciting here. You may be feeling though like your life is just sort of upside down right now. It's it's not that it's a bad thing. You're just, it's some kind of pause here. Yeah, you need to walk by faith and not by sight. This could for sure for some of you have to do with some kind of relationship. The two of swords and the two of cups here, you could be seeing two, two, two. But it's like your spiritual team, they're guiding you. You don't see something happening. You don't see it coming because all you can see right now really is the journey that you've been on that has been very, very burdensome for some of you. You've been on a very long journey. I'm talking eight to 10 years for some of you, maybe even longer. But literally, there's like a new beginning. There's a partnership, something here that's growing. It's developing for you. It's like a, it's a... It's going to come as a shock or a secret, but you're in hermit mode. You're in isolation or, yeah, it's like there's a need here for some kind of introspection. For some of you, there's a need for even like a separation. Or some of you, you're separated from someone or you're separated from your family. You don't see that like a brand new beginning is coming. Where everything is, I'm telling you, everything is about to come full circle. The high priestess, though, it's it's almost like this new beginning is being shielded. It's being protected. And a lot of the details of it are being protected. And the reason why is because there are still certain situations in your life that are not 100%. Like, they're closed. But even spirit, like, reveals something to me today about a particular spirit that um I feel has been... Honestly, like attack, attacking the entire collective, but I I was not given the clearance to talk about this just yet. Um, it's something that I'll have to continue to pray and meditate on, but I've been just seeing a lot of this incubus, succubus, Jezebel lights here, but there are other spirits that accompany those spirits in bringing you a lot of chaos, conflict, this oppressive light energy, but you have here the travel card. Wow, enclosure, I told you. There's something here. And for some of you, even like for myself, you've gone through things because spirit is wanting you to learn how to identify and discern certain spirits. Um, a lot of people, especially who have the gift of prophecy, you will absolutely battle a lot of narcissists. You will battle a lot of different entities and principalities and demonic spirits because they're always going to come up against you to try and block you from going towards this new beginning. Like I said, there's something that like spirit is really showing me right now, but I definitely, I haven't gotten the clearance to share that just yet. 
the sun card is here in the seven of wands. Yeah. It's like as you continue standing up for yourself, as you continue um fighting the good fight, because you may experience a lot of challenges and adversity, but it's really, really building character and spiritual strength for you. You're about to be liberated though from something. You're very protected. However, right now you may be feeling like you are very burdened or even blocked by something. Your life, I'm telling your life is about to completely change. Completely. You have here the three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and the six of pentacles. Yeah. And someone is possibly coming in to help. You could be experiencing some delays right now, even like with your finances. For some, sometimes I want you to know um, something that spirit has been even telling me. Sometimes when things in your life, when they slow down, it's not always because you're being attacked. A lot of people look at hardship or, or challenging situations as an attack, but sometimes it's a test from God as well. Sometimes when things in your life become stuck, stagnant, or they tend to dry up, whether it's friends, family, finances, or whatever. Sometimes that's God's way of showing you that you're no, something in your life that was once in alignment is no longer in alignment. Um, I had someone to say this to me, or not directly to me, but in one of my um, coaching calls earlier this week, somebody said, Sometimes your ceiling becomes your floor. And I've been thinking about that all week. Sometimes when things in your life slow down, it's not because, oh, the devil is attacking you or the witches and the, war the warlocks are attacking you. Sometimes that's God's way of letting you know you now have outgrown where you are. And a lot of people, I don't know if you guys can hear, <laughs> this is always a confirmation, the birds are like really just chirping away right now. Um, something in your life is over and you may still be holding on to something. When you're healing, you also, when, when healing from deep rooted issues, most of the time you also will have to relive those experiences to get to the real root of the issue. I feel that a lot of people right now, it's time to let go of, and I talked about this earlier this week, those wounds and experiences in your life that made you feel like the victim. You have a brand new beginning coming where you are the victor, you are the conqueror, you're the trailblazer, you're the pioneer, you're the first. Something is 100% is is purpose for you, but you have to completely let go of a situation that's now dead. And you have to understand that it's okay for you to change your mind. Um, sometimes you can go into a job, a friendship, a relationship, and it, it will feel right. But as you continue to grow and to evolve, for you to spread your wings, like with this sun energy and the high priestess, for you to really grow, sometimes you need to travel. You need to move forward. You need to give yourself permission to explore something new. Some of you, you need to explore something new because wherever you are, there's a situation in your life is stagnant and it's drying up. And you may be saying that, oh, someone is attacking you, but in actuality, what, what's happening is this is God, Spirit, the universe, source, letting you know that it's time for you to move in a different direction, maybe. It's time for you to challenge yourself. It's time for you to find the the person, the place, the job, the business, or whatever that makes you feel at home. Ten of Pentacles. It's time for you to, yeah, nine of cups. It's time for you to put an end to something and, and embrace a new beginning here. Heavy Scorpio energy with the King of Cups here in the death card. But the Six of Wands, this is also too, um, the King of Cups here and the Nine of Cups, but the death. Someone here... Yes, it's like putting a, a mate. This is a major ending, but it seems like it's an ending that has already taken place, but someone has not fully accepted or let it go. It, it gives me the energy of like grief. You know, some people hold on to grief, honestly, for too long. Um, I 
Hmm. It's like in the Bible, like after Moses led everyone out of Egypt and he passed away in the Bible, it literally says that God gave them 30 days to mourn. And it was like, okay, now you have a new leader. And for me to get you to the promised land, now I'm going to have to go and, you know, get you through, <laughs> get you through this, this wall of, to, of Jericho. But you can't stay stuck in grieving for too long. Something here is time for you to close something out. Some of you, like I said, I'm, I'm getting stronger. It's something from your childhood or from your old home, or it's time for you to move from your home or where you currently are, or you need to actually backtrack and see where the real root of one of your problems is coming from so that you can face it head on and allow yourself to, to grow and to prosper. The two of swords is here with the two of cups. It's like you've been stuck at a crossroads for a long time. Some of you, you've been stuck unable to really allow new love in your life because you haven't properly grieved a love that has been lost. You still feel like something is like open in some way, but it's not. There's a cycle here that's completely closed. For some of you, if this is about love, you and another person, it's time for the two of you to come together to meet or for you and someone to reconnect or reunite. But you're going to have to put a, a total end to this energy of starting something and not finishing it. Or getting excited about a, a new beginning, but still holding on to something. And I, I talked to a group of, of people about this earlier this week. Sometimes we use religion and even healing as a crutch. It's a lot of people who go to church or are in a spiritual community who began to idolize the like the healing journey or they idolize religion because it's a crutch. It's something that's enabling you to you know, oh, well, every time something in your life isn't working out, you want to blame it on the devil or you want to blame it on God or it's you, you want to blame it on the witch or the warlock. And sometimes you have to fix your mind to, to see that sometimes things are just not working out because it's really not meant to. Or sometimes when you've been stuck for so long, it's because it's really time for you to change your course of action it's all about perspective your perception of a situation somebody here feels like something and it may not be you it could be someone is still holding on to you and this cycle is closed yeah the eight of wands is here something is over it's done you're not going something is, is not moving forward and that's the final judgment and that's justice here something here balances out by you choosing to not return to it or not let somebody return to you or whatever the case may be but this now is is like leading you to this deep healing here four of swords and the four of wands you're healing before like this major celebration in your life comes about the two of cups here and the four of wands and for some of you there is some kind of relationship here that is being healed OK, if you haven't met your person, this deep healing is taking place because you're about to meet them. Or if you and your person, if you have met your person, but the two of you have been um, disconnected or separated, that's about to change. But the only way that this happens is if you are fully in alignment, you're a vibrational match for this new chapter. Meaning you cannot allow anything from the past to hold hold you back. The Ten of Wands is being clarified with the Knight of Swords. So again, it's like you have to come out of feeling burdened. Because for some of you, the Ace of Pentacles is here in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles is in the reverse. So there could have been some kind of financial hardship. There was something that you really, really wanted or that was given to you. And I feel like somebody reneged on an offer or... Definitely, like somebody, this is like being bankrupt, either in the physical or feeling spiritually bankrupt because of the situation here. The Ten of Wands, somebody has been 
battling a long time and feeling rejected, abandoned, and all of that. But the five of pentacles in the reverse. And the, ace, the five of pentacles in the reverse, I feel it's like, for some of you, you may be feeling like you're at rock bottom or somebody you're dealing with feels like they're at rock bottom. But this is to teach somebody like the real power and strength that they have to show that like it's time for you to get up. It's time for you to really take action. This could be a masculine who has been feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, maybe having financial issues, just a lot of hardships. Being in survival mode, having like a lack mindset or a poverty mindset because of maybe something from the from childhood, something from the past. It's a way of thinking that someone now has to overcome. I'm telling you, somebody needs to go back home. I feel like when somebody goes home, they're going to see with the Hierophant card here, the way that like their family thinks or something about tradition or mindset or religion. And someone is, it's, it's like all the dots are going to connect. Somebody's going to be like, you know what? This is the reason why I've been struggling. It's because of this place. Like I said, for somebody here, their religion could be a crutch or something in spirituality, the occult. Something here has become a crutch for a person. It has become a blockage. It has become a barrier. For some of you, tarot is blo it's, it's slowing you down. It's blocking you. But the Eight of Cups and the Hierophant also tells me that this is someone choosing to leave something behind to go on their spiritual journey. So for some of you, you and another person could be coming into alignment. You're about to meet more people that are in your soul family, your soul tribe. The Eight of Cups and the Hierophant is definitely like, and then with the Hermit here, it's definitely letting go of some kind of hurt, like hurt or pain and choosing to really heal. Wow, look at that. And just as I said, that the Three of Swords here. And here's the Six of Swords. Somebody here is finally ready to release. This release has to happen. And when it happens, somebody gets this down low and they come in with some kind of offer here. The Page of Cups. It's going to be easier for you to manifest your person when you release this hurt. When you get this type, this this closure about this previous relationship or your family or all of it, the five of wands is in the reverse. It's like there's going to be a peaceful resolution here. For some of you, there could even be like a family gathering or something. Where you and some people, you come together and there is some type of, it could be an argument or just a conversation. It's going to really, really bring you the closure that you need. I don't know why this keeps coming up. It feels like spirit. Yeah, there's a secret here. Seven of one. I'm sorry, the seven of swords and the four of cups here. Somebody is feeling very discontent and bored or like there is some kind of missed opportunity or you feel like you're about to miss out on an opportunity. This is because you don't know the truth about something. It, it feels like, yeah, there's a conversation for some people. You don't need to have a conversation with someone for closure. But for somebody out here, there's something in your life, and this could have to do with your family. There's a huge secret or a huge misconception about something that has kept a cycle open that needs to be closed properly. And this is something that can be closed out with some type of conversation, with you facing something. Because it's like when you choose to face whoever this is or whatever this is, it's going to like bring something to an end, full circle, the world. For some of you, and we've seen this in many of the readings for several months, it's like a relationship in your life. Either this is a relationship with like a parental figure. Some of you, one of your parents has not been in your life. And the story of, that you know of why that person hasn't been in your life is a lie. You don't know. It's like you don't know the truth of why somebody is not in your life or you don't know the truth about someone's life or even someone's death. You don't know the truth about something. And it, it has been a missing piece for a very long time. It's time for you to find out the truth. 
I don't know who I'm talking to, but this is somebody's story. It's time for you to find out the truth about something that took place in your home, something at a distance, or why somebody is distant from you. You don't know the, the real truth. Or if this was a relationship, you don't know why somebody really just stopped talking to you or ghosted you or whatever. It's something huge. It feels like somebody honestly has been holding on to some type of heartache, pain, and has been suffering for a very long time simply because of a lie or some kind of half truth or just some untold story. But see, the thing of the thing I like about this is this is not for for some of you even if someone has transitioned here. Somebody knows the truth and they can tell you this truth is going to give you the peace and the solace and the healing that you need for you to have this new beginning. It's the King of Swords is here and the lovers. For a lot of you, this is this could be someone, a lover of yours. The King of Swords, the devil in the reverse, and the lovers. You could be feeling like somebody is just ruthless. They're toxic. They're narcissistic. They're an awful person. That may not be the case. Somebody has betrayed you. Whatever. It really could be something different. And even if that is the case, so I feel like somebody has an explanation about a situation that has occurred in your life that has really, really affected you. For some of you, this, this, this has something to do even with your birth. Somebody out here, you could be finding out that you're adopted or like one of your parents isn't like biologically your parents. It's something like that with me looking here at love and fertility. And if this isn't you, this could just be some kind of secret that's coming out in your family. And it's going to be like, oh, wow, now it makes sense. Some of you, if you're like the black sheep in your family or something like that, you're there is something that's going to be revealed. And it's going to all make sense of why you're so different. And if it's not something like that, let's say, for instance, if you reconnect with like someone in your family or if you meet a family member that you don't know, they're going to tell you something that's going to make perfect sense to you. And I feel like it has to do for some of you with something spiritual. You may have a conversation with someone and find out that like one of your great, great, like great grandparents or somebody in your family was a high priestess or a healer. And you're going to be like, oh, that makes sense. It's like you're going to find out where you, where something originated, how you received something or why you didn't receive something. Like it's all going to make sense. It's so many different situations that are coming to my mind and whoever this reading is for, this is about to unfold for you, but you probably have something that's been on your mind for a while of wondering but with love and fertility here, it has something to do with love or like the birth of a child. Mm. And for some of you for a long time, what I'm also getting here that's very clear for the group of you watching this reading that wants to have a child or more children. Uh, it's a very clear situation here with healing, love and fertility and well-being out here. And here's a card of beauty. For some of you, if there has been a problem with you being able to conceive, it's because, and this has come out in so many readings over the years. You're supposed to conceive a child with a very, very, like a specific person. A specific person at a specific time. It could blow your mind for some of you. Because some of you, there's been grief around you not being able to either birth this business, this creative venture, or this child. 
it's because you haven't been in the right place. It wasn't the right time or you wasn't with the right person. It's like if you've been, let's say, trying to get an approval for a house or an apartment or whatever. It's not working because where you're trying to become a homeowner at or whatever, you're not supposed to be there. And it's going to blow your mind because as soon as you go somewhere different, it's like, boom, everything just unlocks. Some of you, it's like, again, like, it's, let's say, for instance, if it's a, a trying to conceive situation, you're constantly trying to have a child and it's not working. You, you tried everything and it's like, as soon as you stop trying, it happens or as soon as you leave your relationship with someone and you get with the person that, that God wants you to be with, if, if it's a relationship issue, you're going to easily have a child. Or it's like a business. It's just not thriving for somebody. It's something here is just not thriving. It's like your floor, your ceiling has become the floor. You've gotten as far as you can get with something. And spirit is like, your ships are coming in, but they're coming from a different direction. You're still looking for some kind of blessing from something that right now is closed. It's over. It's done. That is not a part of your life anymore. It's like the energy, this fertile energy that you have, whether you're a man or a woman, it's supposed to be in a new cycle. But it's like you're still kind of trying to give life to something that is completely dead. You're being put in new territory. That's what this is. Yeah, the Eight of Wands and the Justice card here. No, there's, it's like something here is completely dead. It's, it's now off limits to you. It's not on your path or your journey anymore. Somebody here, it's like if you're trying to stay, like, it's something heavy about location. It, it's like you're, even if you went to different cities within one state, it's not. It's like you're not supposed to be in that state. You're supposed to be somewhere else. Life is just going to unfold. It's, it's something when you change your location, you change your part. Look at that. Magician. The Eight of Pentacles. The Star. The Ten of Cups. The Ace of Cups. Listen, I know what I'm, I'm picking up here. The Magician, the Eight of Pentacles. You're trying to put a lot of work into manifesting something. The energy for whatever you're trying to manifest has already, like, you've already put the energy into this manifestation. You're, you just need to align yourself with it. For some of you, it's a relationship. You've already put in the work to manifesting love. You've already put in the work to manifesting a child, a business, or whatever. But you haven't gotten aligned because your mind is still in something from the past. You're still in the wrong like loca like geographical location for some of you is very important. But if like spirit is telling you what I'm getting right now, you've already done the work. Some of you, you need to, that's why they're nesting and you need to stop working. Stop trying to manifest something right it's like spirit is saying you've already done it you put all the work into it some of you you keep coming up with ideas but you're not moving on it it's like god has already given you the vision he's given you the idea he's given you everything you just need to act on it and it may require you to move in a different way or with a different person it's, this is about action, but your intentions, the energy. And for some of you, another way I can see this is like, as far as you already manifest, for some of you, you manifested in, in the spirit already, but you're just waiting for something to show up in the 3D, in the physical, but you still have to be in the right space or place to see it and receive it. For some of you, this is like a union, for some, like a, a connection. You, you've already gone into a spiritual union, but you, you haven't met this person. 
in the physical or you haven't reconnected or reunited with them. For some of you, you may have to move. Or if you and this person are at a distance, you and this person are going to have to decide. You're going to have to be in the same place. You're, you're going to have to make the sacrifice to change something in your life. It's a drastic change, but it is the key to your forever. It's the key to your fortune. Hmm. This is something really big. The Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. See, somebody has been moving very slowly and you've possibly been to a one like contemplating. I feel like somebody out here, honestly, you've been waiting. For some of you, this does have to do with love. You've been waiting on your person. Call. They're coming, but it's like it's been so slow. You're like, are they ever going to come? You're wondering, like you've manifested this person. But you're still waiting. And I feel like what you need to stop doing is feeling like you have to continue to be still. That two of wands to me sometimes, it's like complacency. There needs to be action. Yeah, you're going to have to move. Look at that. The queen of wands here and the, the temperance card. Heavy Sagittarius energy or fire energy. But that's movement. And here's the Knight of Wands. Somebody has to move. You're, it's like, I'm. people say, oh, I'm waiting on God to help me. God is waiting on you to show up. But it's something that you have to do. The Queen of Pentacles is here. And the Nine of Swords. Okay, I got it. You're stressed out about whatever you have to do because maybe finances, security, or stability. You're worried that if you give up, if you move in a different direction, if you do something new, you're going to experience some kind of restrictions. You're going to lose money, offers, opportunities, or whatever. The Eight of Swords is here in the verse with the Nine of Wands. Someone here, you're scared to lose on your security or stability. You still want to control something here, but you're actually the Empress. Spirit is saying you don't have to worry about not having what you need. Because you're going into a period of creating. Some of you are, yes, yeah, it makes perfect sense. You're trying to build on something that you already have. And Spirit is saying, it's time for you to go and create something totally new. It's like saying, you have a home and you're like, well, we need more space. So let's just add Let's add a room to the back. And Spirit's like, no. <laughs> you need to move. I don't want you in the neighborhood anymore. You need to You need to move. Or you're in a relationship. You're like, I'm really waiting on, you know, this or that to happen with this person. Or we're really trying hard to have a kid. Or I'm waiting. And Spirit's like, it's not working because you're not supposed to be there. The biggest takeaway from this message is you're not meant the... Uh, you're not meant to keep building on something that you have. You manifested something new that needs to show up physically. And that means that you have to do something brand new. Some of you are with a person or you're very close to some kind of offer or an opportunity. But you're still trying to like have keep one foot in and have one foot out. You're like, well, I'm going to go and, and start something new, but you're still dealing with something that's a closed cycle. You're, you're saying that you want to manifest a new person in your life, but you're still talking to your ex. You're saying you want to be, you know, a business owner and very successful, but you are very, very afraid to let go of your job. Right now, Spirit may be telling you, you need to be a full-time entrepreneur. So at the root of this is fear and you choosing to be, to, um, <laughs> I would say I, I resonate with this because it, it's so many things that I've said earlier this week to a totally different group of people. 
that's coming out now. It's the spirit of familiarity. You want something to stay the same that must change. You want to stay in this neighborhood of spirit is saying, no, I don't even want you in this same city or state or country anymore. You want to keep this friendship or this relationship and spirit is saying, no, it's a, it's a totally different community. Some people here, you're, you're having this spiritual awakening, but you're, you're scared to really get on your spiritual journey and really learn more about yourself or your relationship with God because you're still stuck in religion. Some of you have been very spiritual and, and maybe you are being led back to church or being guided to church and you're not allowing yourself to go. Somebody here, you're not, it's too much tension and restrictions here and it's very much self-imposed I just keep hearing you gotta go you gotta go five of swords <laughs> strength three of cups ace of wands for some of you this is about you going towards a different community and see, when you when you go into different communities, it brings about different personalities, different per perspectives. It brings about a lifestyle change. And you're you're fighting against it. But that's where <laughs> You will have the new beginning, the healing, the love, the fertility. You will have that peace. It'll feel like home. It, your, your new home is calling you. Whatever that home is for you. You can say a new relationship, a new job, a new location. Whatever you are longing for is ready for you. But you're going to have to travel to it. You have to take the first step of this million mile journey to this new place. And what you're fighting against is the fact that you have to close something out. You have to be willing to let something go completely, entirely, in order to have everything that you want. And like I said, it's different things for different people. For some of you, it's time you have to it's some friends and family, you have to block them. They cannot go with you. You can't feel bad. You can't feel guilty. You have to go. For some of you, it's time to put your notice in at your job. For some of you, it's it's time to file for the divorce or to tell somebody you gotta break up. It's just it's time. And the reason why this is difficult for a lot of people is because whatever you're in is comfortable, it's familiar. It doesn't feel like it's hurting you or it's bad, but it's also not allowing you to progress or prosper. It says it is time to engage in activities that rejuvenate your mind, body, and soul. The stars are lining up for the perfect opportunity now. The golden stars. Card number 33. You could be a life path number three or one. That flew out hard and hard. Don't allow this situation to make you bitter, cold, and aloof. Yeah, some of you, it's a situation that you're in or that you've been in struggling to bring closure to. It has been very disappointing. It may not be the most 
hurtful situation, but it has been disappointing because if you're honest with yourself, you have not gotten out of this person, place, thing, or situation what you were hoping for, which is that sense of home. This or they or it just wasn't quite it for you. And now you're going to have to go out in the world. So for some of you, it, again, it's the familiarity. It's, oh my gosh, I have to start over. I thought I met the person that I was going to spend my life with. And the spirit is like, mm, not anymore. They were okay for that season, but I'm taking you somewhere different now. Like, oh, I thought I found the job that I was going to retire from. And the spirit is like, no, actually, I want you to go back to school. You know, it's, it's, it's a really, really big change. <laughs> But it's necessary. This is really big. Whatever it is. You're, look at that. It's about your creative power. It's fertility all over this reading. And then here you have moving forward. I told you. Moving forward. Because here you had a broken dream. It says only you can accept or reject your dreams. There is something calling for you that you're supposed to be creating and you, you're rejecting your own calling. This is somebody, you're rejecting your calling. If you keep staying in something or with someone, you're rejecting your actual calling. If you continue to have this hardened or bitter, angry heart because of a situation that you've struggled to get closure from, instead of healing and embracing this new beginning, you could miss the opportunity of a lifetime. Literally, this is only you can accept or reject your dreams. And again, it's something here, it's, it's disappointing you feel, you feel disappointed, but that's again, your perception. You shouldn't be disappointed that you have to start over. Because you're about to go into like your actual destiny. You have your lantern. Consciousness is light. And this card says enough. You were born enough and the unknown. Yeah. You have to embrace the unknown. It says repair here. Making amends. Rather than fun times reveals a relationship's true constitution. For some of you, this is a relationship too. The presence of absence. It says, hold what is absent in the presence of your love. Some of you, if this is about like a relationship, if you and this person don't come together, and make this decision to get on the same page, to move, relocate, communicate, or whatever the case is. You are going, this could lead to a, a missed opportunity that you and another person will live to regret. And that's why for some of you. You got to close the gap. Either you and someone want to travel towards one another or you need to get on the same page. There's distance between you and someone. You feel like you need to call this person, talk to them or whatever. There's this big elephant in the room of you feeling like something is wrong or is not meant to be. And maybe it is meant to be. Some of you. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So it's like, if this is a relationship, your relationships would, don't work with anybody. You have this true love and you're denying it. And for some of you, this could be a past person. Or for some of you, you met a person and you're like, they're like my per the, the perfect person. But you won't say anything or they won't say anything. You're going to have to break the silence. You're going to have to say what you mean and mean what you say. 
And the problem here is someone is afraid to fully embrace the unknown or with this enough card, you were born enough. Somebody feels like, what if I'm not enough? Before I saw the masculine with all these financial issues, this could be a masculine that's madly in love and they see you as their perfect person. But maybe because of financial challenges, they're not pursuing you. Or somebody feels like a re they will have the perfect relationship or life with someone, but there is distance and somebody doesn't want to let go of their job. Whatever this problem is that you are allowing to fester in your life because you're re refusing to let go of something familiar, you have to let it go because it's going to affect your actual destiny if you don't. Or if, if not, I mean, if, if it's destined to be, either you're going to delay this and I just heard delay it again. Or you're going to be forced in a new direction. Because it's obvious for some of you that you want to build something or repair something with someone. But you are very afraid of facing the unknown. You're wondering if you are enough or are they enough? Is the love that you have, is that enough? Whatever. But literally, it's like a brand new beginning. You can have, you can birth so much in this new space or with this new person or whatever. So don't reject your destiny or your own dreams. Move forward. Stop trying to, it's like somebody right now, what, it, what, what has happened is you've, you've run into a brick wall. And if it's not you, it's another person. And I'm really picking up love right now. You and somebody have run into a brick wall. There is no other choice now but for the two of you to get on the same page and come into an actual physical union. It doesn't matter what job you try to have, where you try to live, who else you try to be with. Nothing is going to work until you face this person or this situation. Some of you, if it's not love, you keep getting these different jobs. Maybe it's time for you to... Embrace your entrepreneur journey. Or maybe you've been an entrepreneur and you keep trying to make the business work. It's not, maybe it's time for you to go to school and get a job. Whatever you're doing in your life that's not working, Spirit is making it clear. You need to stop running from yourself at this point. And I keep in my mind's eye, I'm seeing a man, this person. Their ego is like weighing them down because this person is trying to do everything except go towards this feminine energy. This person is trying to find ways to make all these different things work. And it's like, spirit is like, you just need to go home. And for some people, home is a person. You need to go home. That's what I'm hearing. When home is a person, somebody needs to go home. Somebody has found a sense of home and a sense of purpose in a particular place or with a particular person. And they left it. And they haven't been right ever since. It's like, you know, you, you need to go home. And literally, as soon as somebody makes this decision, life just takes off. Love, fertility, creativity, power, travel, happiness, peace, joy. You're at a brick wall. So, I, th this this was a very deep message. And like I said, it could, for some, it's your career path. For some, it's relationship. For some, it's all of the above. Somebody is going through possibly like a spiritual awakening. And their consciousness, their awareness is guiding them to home. 
because literally it's like God is like, I'm this is your life now. I'm putting it right in front of you, but it's a piece of your story that you've already gotten like access to, but somebody is still trying to control the narrative. You can't do anything else. And if this is a relationship, it's two people who really, really just feel at home with each other. And to keep rejecting this connection because of all these excuses, oh, somebody has money problems or somebody lives at a distance or somebody is in school or the problem with the family or this or that. It feels like it has become a burden to somebody. Because rejecting whatever this opportunity or this offer is, what it's doing is it's causing someone to reject everything in their life because this opportunity is literally the breakthrough. It is the key to someone's destiny. And I'll be honest, when you see all of this fertility here, literally, if you think about someone that wants to have a real legacy, for a lot of people, legacy has a lot to do with family and children. If you have been presented with a person that you are meant to co-create and procreate with, nothing in your life is going to work as long as you are not actually procreating and co-creating with that person if that is a part of your destiny. Because God is like, well, you're meant to be this family generational uh, curse breaker. You're meant to be this legacy builder. I'm sending you a helpmate, but you keep going running away from the connection and everything that somebody runs to it, it breaks it it fumbles it fails it falls i feel like somebody's finally noticing like you know what the only place where i really feel a sense of peace and at home is in this city or with this person or when i'm doing this for work you're gonna have to commit to that now This is a major breakthrough for somebody. It's like you're so, so close to your breakthrough. And whatever this is, your life is never going to look the same. I feel like for a lot of like what you do for work, where you live, the type of people that you're attracted to, your friends, your family, your community, everything is about to change. Everything. But it's, it's the best change for you. It says healing cocoon of light. Your angels come to you now and surround you in a healing cocoon made of light and manifesting magic. <laughs> you are creating your life based on the intentions you send out into the universe, onward and upward. Yeah, and stretch yourself. 33, 55, and 66 are out here. This is about growth and expansion. And synergy. Blending together all of your talents helps you to create an energy, energy signature that holds within it your authentic creative expression. That's what I'm saying. It's like this healing energy. But you have to close a chapter. You have to close a door. Because you now are receiving this, this healing cocoon of light, this, this divine purpose, this clarity, this light, this consciousness and awareness. And you have to blend that in the right community and you can only share your energy with the right person. So anything or anyone that you're sharing your energy with that's not aligned, you're going to be forced to remove it. And I feel like God is kind of giving you right now the, the power, control, and authority to make these decisions. But if you don't hurry up and make the right decision, everything that you are choosing not to do is going to be yanked away from you. Because you're being forced now to create a certain energy. You're on a very special assignment. Hmm. 
I'm going to leave it here, you guys. This was a really deep um, spiritual reading for sure. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments, like, what what is this huge thing that you're feeling called to? I really would be like, interested in knowing. But please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love you guys all very much. Always go with the answer that you never go without. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.